when I had the opportunity to set up Lexington Oncology here on the campus um, of Lexington Medical Center, um, I, I felt that that was something that I really wanted to pursue, and um, the hospital um, has always been um, uh, very supportive of uh, the practice and myself about um, um, getting the practice started and, and, and beginning it. But I also wanted to, as, as best as possible, reflect the philosophy of, of Lexington Medical Center that personal care, you know, uh, going the extra mile for the patients and making sure that they never felt like they were being rushed or as best as possible, uh, you know, uh, were a number rather than a person was very important to me. It's a small enough practice um, in the sense that we, we are not an extremely large group, which can be sometimes very difficult to manage. Uh, you know, we see uh, there are groups of uh, oncology groups that have 15, 20, sometimes more oncologists, and it becomes very hard to get along with all the personalities. It also uh, makes it hard for you to know how your colleagues practice, um, which, which can be difficult when you're taking care of, uh, you know, when you're taking care of some of their patients uh, while being on call. I was really surprised at um, how quickly the practice was evolving. Um, there were three partners at that point. I made the fourth person. Um, uh, I saw the potential with the new office space that was being renovated, and I saw um, how dedicated the hospital was to cancer services with all the um, people involved and all the finances they're putting into it um, to help our patients, um, not just with the physical needs to do with cancer treatments, um, but emotional needs with hiring social workers, and uh, navigators, as well as through the foundations, providing some of the financial needs people have that are intangible that we don't even think about. We have our own um, infusion site and very well-trained nurses, infusion, um, chemo-certified nurses to give the chemotherapy. And we have on our own pharmacy is coming on the site and we'll be preparing the chemotherapy medications also there. And we have research. And we just got uh, started working with the Duke Oncology Program. So that's an, another exciting thing that we will be able to offer newest uh, uh, clinical trials for our patients. I think the practice, again, our goal is to try to grow it to a level to meet the needs of the healthcare district, but at the same time, keep that personal touch involved with that because, again, that's something that's very, very much uh, uh, a part of of what I've tried to do all the way along.